Good morning guys and girls and welcome back. I hope you're good wherever you are in the world and I hope it's a good week because it does seem like it's been a good week for some people. Cheers to that. Because <laughs> uh, I think if you have been getting into investing in the stock market recently over the last couple of months, then you've been doing very well. Uh, this is a, a time when it was, it's was it been massively uncertain. People didn't know which way things were going to go. But over the last couple months, they've pretty much gone in one direction. We've just had a new all-time high for the NASDAQ. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you this as I go along right here. So we've just had a new all-time high for the NASDAQ. If you look at that chart right there, that was the crash. And then it's come back up to, well, there right now which is crazy. Uh, Tesla just got an all-time high yesterday. It just passed $1,000. So for anyone that was in Tesla, you've done very well. And you've, literally, you've gone from where the crash was here back up to that point. And this is what I want to get into today. Because although we have done very well over the last couple of months, there's a decision to make here. And also if you've been looking on the sidelines and you've suddenly started seeing loads of people really doing well with the stock market recently, then maybe you're considering getting in at this point. So in this video, I wanna kind of answer the question, should you be jumping in right now? Can you time the market? And what is the best strategy for the longer term? Because markets don't always go up. Contrary to what you, you might hope or what some people that are investing right now might believe, it doesn't always go up, it sometimes goes down. And that's what I want to try and get to in this video. Good morning, Chim Chim. Morning, Bradley. Uh, so yeah, Tesla, all-time high. It passed $1,000 yesterday. NASDAQ, all-time high. It just passed 10000 for the first time ever. The FTSE has been somewhat more reasonable. This is the London Stock Exchange. It's come back 50%, but you know it's it's still down after the crash at the beginning of March because we are still in the same situation we are, even if NASDAQ and the S&P may have you believe otherwise. So I saw this video a couple of days ago, and I think most of the internet has seen this right now. But if you're not into investing, then maybe you haven't. So this is a guy, Dave Portney, and he's Barstool president. Uh, he's like a content creator and he does things outside of trading normally, but over the last couple of months, he's jumped on the bandwagon of day trading. And he's did this video calling out Warren Buffett, who is arguably the greatest investor, or he is probably the greatest investor ever. And he made this video, <laughs> I'll show you it and then I'll show you what I mean. You know what I find funny though? The people on the internet who is debating who the better investor is right now, myself or Warren Buffett, it's no debate. I mean, it's no debate. I killed him. He's dead. <laughs> He's dead. I'm not saying I had a better career. I'm not saying I have more money than he does. He, he's, he's a Hall of Famer. He's one of the best to ever do it. No doubt. He's old and he's washed up. He's washed I'm the up. new breed. I'm the new generation. You can't, there's nobody who can argue that Warren Buffett's better at the stock market than I am right now. I'm better than he is. It's a fact. You're just going to have to deal with it. The blue child, oh, Warren, how do you go after Warren? Listen, he's an old man. His time passing by, I'm sure he's nice. But how can you debate facts? Facts. I'm killing him. DDTG, whether you like it or not, folks, is the most successful trading floor, flip, trading desk in the world. Wow. Yeah, so that went kind of viral, and then everyone started coming back to it, being like, this guy's calling out Warren Buffett. This is the Robin Hood trader, the Robin Hood generation over the last couple months of people that think they can day trade, or have started to day trade, and have made a lot of money in the last couple months. And now he's saying to Warren Buffett, like, hey, what you, what you did isn't anything special. I'm going to become the next billionaire or whatever. Well... Sure, there's the odd saying that goes, everyone's a genius in a bull market. So this guy's probably made a lot of money in the last couple of months. I'm sure he has. 
but can you do that consistently? Is it possible to continually time the market and continually make those kind of returns? Not really. Because, okay, look, first I'm gonna get into, I'll, I'll come to that in a second, but first let me show you. This, this is kind of, this is the, the, what people are thinking. I'll just show you and then we'll, we'll get into it. The, the phrase they're using is YOLO. You only live once. As long as you can hear this. Yeah, YOLO. Morning, Kevin. That's not an investment strategy. Uh... From the NYC that's moving ahead, they're going to challenge that. But uh, the commentary regarding Robinhood, even their marketing gym, uh, the way they're pressing uh, young millennials to invest, uh, it's not FOMO. The, the phrase they're using is YOLO. You only live once. Yeah, YOLO is. There's a point to all this, by the way. So, like, the Robinhood, they've kind of called this the Robinhood generation of investors because Robinhood's made it that much easier for people to get into the market. And they're, they're as you said there, they're targeting millennials with that YOLO campaign. You only live once, jump in, put all your money in. And all of these people that have got stimulus checks, I think, like, among people earning $35,000 a year or more who received a government stimulus check, many used at least some of that money to buy a stock. And now a lot of these are people that hadn't been involved before and jumped in with their stimulus money, piled in, and now the stock market in the US at least has gone kind of crazy. So if you're, this is a guy Mark Cuban did an interview a couple of days ago. If you're a day tuber, if you're a day trader and you can walk and chew gum, you are making money right now goes back to that thing, everyone is a genius in a bull market, so everyone that's been making money for the past couple of months, it's awesome, good for them, they've made a lot of money day trading like that Dave, David Day Trader did, but eventually it's all gotta come down, and who knows when, can you time it? Let's, let's go further and see. <laughs> this is great by the way, it's Wall Street Bets. Go and check it out if you want to. If you want to laugh, go have a look. It's um, on on Reddit, Wall Street Bets, and it's a great little community with uh, loads of things about what's happening within Wall Street and the stock market. So this is where I'm finding all of these from. But yeah, it's it's really interesting. This isn't playing right now. If I can refresh that. Morning, Carl. Yeah, the stocks only go up, right? Hmm. <laughs> Guy didn't sell. Global markets drop as they have done today. And there you go. <laughs> That's where a lot of people, not laughing at that kid, but that's where a lot of people could be right now. It's gone up and up for the last couple of months and eventually it's got to come down. Eventually it does. It doesn't, it, you, you don't know when, but eventually it has to. So what can you do to, I mean, not get caught out by that is take profits along the way. And I'm not one of these people that have just jumped in in the last month. I've been looking at this for a lot longer than that. And so I understand this because I've been through that pain before. If people just continually trade, which a lot of people are doing with high leverage, which means that they're, they're trading more than they have, you will eventually lose it all. And this is just this is the main reason I'm making this video right now, because if you have been lucky enough to get involved in the markets in the last couple of months, it can't go that way forever. This is another uh, forum on the Wall Street bets, and these are all people that have been doing really well in the past month. And as you can see from some of these here, it's a lot of people are getting liquidated in the last couple of days. It took two barely red days after 20 straight green days to blow up 90% of our accounts. Uh, the S and P went up zero point, went down zero point six percent yesterday, but people were losing like thirty percent of their portfolios because of leverage, and so that means they they were they were betting that it was going up, so using a a, a a small, using a bigger bet by having a margin trade, so they have a lot of uh, liquidity behind them. So like, but then if it go if it goes up, your your gains are amplified, but if it goes down, the market will take all of that liquidity and you'll lose everything you've got behind you. So these people were trying to do leverage calls and then they've lost a lot of their money. And this is like, you can just go on here and have a look, Wall Street bets, but it's so common right now. I opened the day with $31,000 in my account, ended it with 6,000, not doing okay. 
Um, be honest, how much did you put in it? How did they end up putting 10K into SeaWorld? <laughs> Who blew up their accounts? Down about 50%. And this is just like a warning call because I think the amount of people that are probably going to see the stock market right now and think, hey, this is the time to jump in, FOMO, fear of missing out. Oh, wow, it's up massively. Everyone's making these mad gains. I need to get in right now. But if you do that and you try and um, try and chase the market, then eventually you will lose out. There's a saying that goes, I'm going to paraphrase it. It's not exactly right, but there's nothing more dangerous than seeing your neighbor get rich. Because once you see other people start making massive gains, you try and chase it as well. And that's that's where we are right now. But if you are making, if you have been making a profit, and if you have made some profit over the last couple of months, then firstly, awesome, congratulations. And no one ever went broke by taking a profit. Take some off the table. You know, Tesla just went past thousand dollars. So sure, I mean, I think it's going to go a lot further in the long term. But maybe I'll take a little bit of profit and just set that aside to put into something else. That no one, you can't lose money by taking a profit. And the other thing you can do if you do want to get involved in investing, but you're not sure if now is a good time to buy in after everything I've just said, and you're not sure when should you wait and buy in the future and buy the dip because eventually it will crash. Well, what you can actually do, which makes a lot more sense over the long term, is just continually dollar cost average in. This is what I've been doing for the past couple of years and it's what I continue to do for the next however long uh, and just continually well I say forever long how, until I want to retire I'll just continually dollar cost average into the market and get the long-term returns this is a graph here that shows buying the dip so buying whenever the market went down versus dollar cost averaging Wait. Yeah, this is what I wanted, sorry, this chart. So if you bought the dip on every single one of these calls, you would still underperform against dollar cost averaging over the last 30 years. But you can't, even if you try to time it, you can't beat dollar cost averaging over the long term. This is another chart here, the dollar cost averaging versus a 10% drop, i.e. trying to time it each time it goes down 10%. So if you dollar cost averaged, that's the portfolio in yellow there, which just means buying in every month versus trying to time it over the last 30 years, dollar cost averaging would still be king. And that, that, that doesn't, I mean, that means you could start now still, you could start paying in this month and then next month and then the month after, and you won't lose out next time there's a huge uh, rally in the market like there's no point in trying to chase those gains but if you can prepare and learn for it for the long term for next time that's a much better way around of being exposed to it and again here even bad market timing trumps inertia so the point of this is so sure you may be thinking I don't want to time it wrong I don't want a dollar cost average what if we just go down for the next 10 years well even if you time it badly even if you buy in at the wrong points and just do rubbish timing you'll still have a better return overall if you stay in the market long enough than you would if you just stayed in cash and that's because you know the cash won't make you really any interest in savings accounts these days so if you can invest in the market even with really bad timing you'll still outperform just staying in cash and if you dollar cost average even better start right now even better and this just comes back again full circle to this guy uh, Mark Cuban, who is the person here that also said, uh, if you're a day trader and can walk and chew gum, you're making money right now, which is everyone. He also just said, everyone is a genius in a bull market, but it isn't what you make, it's what you keep. And sure, if you're someone like this making amazing money day trading right now, then that's great. But in the long term, it's what you keep and what you can continually keep and keep making money on top of. That's that's really it for today. I, I wanted to try and get that out there because it is completely what I believe. And there's I think there's so many people 
chasing these gains right now and there's so many people piling in and a lot of people like i, I saw in that forum there i definitely i definitely recommend go have a look reddit slash uh wall street bets the amount of people that are betting their student loan monies and betting their credit cards and taking out loans just so they can chase these gains because their mates are doing it and their mates are making money uh, is it's a classic sign of a bubble that is likely to pop. I mean, eventually it will. You don't know when these things could last longer. They could run for months, but eventually it will. So don't be one of those people that sees other people now making money from it and wants to FOMO in and buy in because eventually that's a way that you will definitely lose. The better way and uh, the better way over the long term that has been proven over 100 years is just to dollar cost average in, pound cost average in, and get the average return over the longer term. That is a way to invest rather than to gamble, which is what a lot of people are doing right now with stock trading. I hope that makes sense. It was a bit more of a, a, a serious a live stream. <laughs> this morning uh, but I, I hope it does help and uh, again like I said in a earlier video I think yesterday or the day before I've actually been spending the last couple of days building this creators tribe platform in the background um, I've, I've put 75 videos together where I've been well, I've filmed them all, I'm editing them all, now I'm uploading them, adding all of the background information, getting everything in there ready for when I do launch the Creators Tribe, which will be a platform for people that want to learn how to create content and how to monetize that content. That is coming soon. If you're interested in that, there'll be a link in the description below or in the top comment. Go and have a look. But for now, I'll just say... Thanks again for watching. Thanks for coming. I'm going to do a longer live tomorrow. It's just, as I said, the last couple of days, I've been building this platform, which is taking up 90% of my time. But over the next couple of days, I think tomorrow I'm going to do a longer live where I, again, do some reactions to some of my older videos because that was fun. And we'll get back to that tomorrow. For now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.